Hello, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. I'm Octox, and this is Ratchet and Clank. In this episode, we're going to go to this robot who looks kind of familiar. I guess I think we found Captain Quark. That was fast. I thought we were gonna wait a while. Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. Yeah, it is. If you're strong enough, it, it's fast not. enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward like a recording. from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quark Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And Why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil. Oh, you idiot. This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. <laughs> oh. Aw, oh, Clank's disappointed. I would be too. Traveling galaxies to look for this dude. And then be like, oh, it's the dude. Nope, it's a robot. That's just too bad. Okay, yeah. These, this is basically just a course... The Captain Cork is set up to you can win a prize well if you do good in the challenge and you clear the challenge um, don't know why he has done this no clue it's just you're just supposed to accept it I guess um, but it's quite weird but I am going to talk about something other today um, I have in the description right now I just thought I should take this immediately um, uh, straw poll and in that straw poll, you can vote on what I should play next, or not really next, but uh, parallel to this. Uh, let's play a Ratchet Clank because, as f some of you know, um, I have another quote-unquote ongoing. No, that was close. Another ongoing. Let's play with uh, my buddy. And damn it, just float down. Okay. Ah, God damn it! Have to start, start over. Uh, no, we got an ongoing let's play with uh, my buddy Alex. But I mean, the situation is kind of hard. He's gonna move across the country, and he doesn't like live. He lives like right now. He lives around. If you take the bus, which both of us don't doesn't have like driver's license or anything. It'll take like uh, um, two hours to get here, and like waiting one hour in a city, and it's just very not good. It's it's just it kind of sucks. Um, so that I don't know when that that let's play is gonna be updated. If it is, anyway, like someday maybe, but I don't know about that. But in the meantime, I thought I should start a new peril let's play which um, you get to vote about so the candidates are um, portal I was thinking portal one because um, I haven't actually played let's just pause a little bit this now here comes another gold bolt I just I'm just I'm I'm very bad at like building up sentences and then just break them apart to talk about something in the game um, but yeah there's a gold bolt if you see here your only clue is that the railing is gone here. So what you do is you just use your helipack and float down to the boxes down here. I guess that's a clue too, but why would you just stop and look at look around for like something or other? But yeah, there's a gold bolt down here. And I'm very proud to say I figured this out when I was seven or like six or seven or something. Which I think is quite impressive, actually. Um, so, no. Uh, the first one you can choose is Portal Portal 1. I have not played Portal 1. I have played Portal 2. But that was also a while ago. So what I'm thinking is I'll probably play both Portal 1 and Portal 2. Like, directly after I play Portal 1, I play Portal 2. Um, either that... Or Fallout New Vegas, because I am very hyped for, partly for Fallout 4, and 
as some of you may know, um, I, my first Let's Play ever on this channel actually was about a year ago was Fallout 3. But I'm kind of tired of that game because I recently 100%ed it. Um, all the achievements, all the weapons, uh, and like all the quest lines and everything. So I'm kind of, kind of tired of that game and I just feel like I haven't played as much Fallout New Vegas. I know my way around a, li a little bit. I finished it like once, but it was like one and a half years, year ago or something. I don't remember that much of it. Uh, but I'd like to do that. So you could choose that too, which will be kind of a long let's play then, I guess. But, you know, why not? Um, that or slide 2. So, like, it would be a sequel to the Sly Raccoon Let's Play I did a few months ago, basically. So those are your options. You can vote on several. You can vote on all of them. You can vote on none of them. The choice is yours. And I know since my audience is not that big, uh, some of you who are subscribed don't even watch the videos I do, which kind of saddens me. I mean, why wouldn't it? But, you know, I just want to know your opinion, because that is, like, the main reason why I started this channel anyway. To, like, have a conversation, or, like, have a connection with uh, my viewers, and have them decide on what, what I should do, what they would find enter entertaining. Um... And I know, you know, I thought that this was a good way to start it off, start it. Um, so that will be in the description. So you can just uh, go vote there. And I will check back in like two weeks or a month or something. And then maybe I've already finished this game. I don't know, man. It's not, re I'm not really that planned out, but you know, stuff happens. Listen up, you lard balls. Oh, hey, fat ass. <laughs> Okay, I fell once, okay? We Bitch, I fell once. Man. Oh yeah, but it is weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast. <laughs> Bet that's not all. Oh snap. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day. But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? <gasps> he certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot so you can stay to it. There's basically just like Spider Man weapon. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad, life's not fair. Fuck you, bitch. That was my prize. Now I have to pay 1,000 bolts for it. That's just not fair. Unless you... I did, fuck you. Just go away. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can spin without silly toys like that. Spider-Man. The two of you make me sick. Yeah. We make you sick. It's not the other way around. No, no. That couldn't possibly be right. Uh, what a bitch. EA, I can swim like Spider-Man now. I am Spider-Man. I am Bother Man. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe... Uh, that's kind of, what the fuck? Just jump on the thing. Um, that is actually kind of an inside joke between me and my friend Alex, actually. We were at this um, festival, I guess you could say. Um, and there were like these claw games, you know, you know the ones where you grab stuffed animal, but you can never get it because, you know, they're like fixed. Uh, but the funny thing was I pr I tried it out on a uh, Spider-Man one and got it on the first try. And what was funny was there was already a Spider-Man um, plushie in the winner's box. So got the two of the prize one. So I gave him one and I have one. And we called him Bada Man. I don't know why. It was, it was just funny at the time. Um, but it's like an inside joke. And uh, we're going to go to Aradia, where the where the Skid McMarks. That name cracks me up. Um, fail. 
crashed down to the planet's surface. And we'll see if we find him. I hope we do, because, I, I mean, that's, like, the only reason we're going here. Um, actually, I don't know why we're going here. We got, we just got these coordinates, and also behind the ship is Skid. He's waiting right here in this, with his pod. Hey, dude. It's him, Skid McMarks. <laughs> that man from the info bot. In the flesh, little dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in? We saw you screaming for help. Uh -huh. uh, that was like a war cry. My agent and I got ambushed on the way to hoverboard practice. Did he survive the crash, sir? Yeah, he's okay, but I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship due to my sprained ankle. Oh, come on. If you can take out all the sand sharks, I just might have a spare hoverboard for you. We'd love to help you, Mr. McMarks, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain... One of your... Oh, boards? you greedy bastard, hmm. Ratchet. I've always wanted a decent hoverboard. Well, all right. You just keep that foot elevated. <laughs> He's so greedy in this first one. I love it. It's like, you know, character development is, is both... Uh, high and false, I say. Because you have to really like something about someone and then you really have to dislike something about someone to, you know, have a character about it. Also, I see a gold bolt, which we are going to get with the bomb glove. Again, we're going to blow up. Wait, blow these people up first. I'm using my wrench to kill you all. Oh, damn you. Little sand shark. Blow up this wall, and oh my god, it's the second wall we blew up. And ta-da! It's the fifth one, I think. Is it our fifth one? It's probably, yeah, our fifth one, I think. It'll say. I mean, I always do that in post, you know, with the, with the cleverness. I am quite proud of that, the, the clever little one-liners, I guess you could call them, that I give the golden bolts. Um, what was I saying? I was saying, why are we going here? Because, I mean, we got this from the plumber at the planet that we crashed on in the f first episode. Um, and... Uh, okay, what? Oh, shit, duh, duh, let's take the... No, not that one. This one. See, that's really annoying. Wait, that... You, that ah, the game doesn't pause when you try to select a new weapon. It does that in later games, which is quite good. Um... God damn it, I lost my train of thought again. Um, that we got to in the first episode, the plumber. Because, I mean, he just wants money to get back to... Or get away from the war happening on that planet. And we get this infobot. Which, we see a clip... Of him get cra Of Skid McMarks... Um, crashing on this planet. But... I don't get why we're here, though. Because... I mean, later you do have to have this hoverboard to progress through the game, but at the m at that time you just why do we need to go here? Because I mean, for the goodness of our hearts, I guess to save men in need. But otherwise, they just because they say themselves that that skid probably doesn't have any connections with Captain Quark. So that's a little hole in the logic there. I mean, it's fun to point out holes in logic. Um, it's the same, because I got a comment on the last video by my friend, Jonathan. Oh, cutscene. Here, man. Catch. Thanks, dear. Brand new Z3000. You can't even buy these. Well, I got a bail. Catch you dudes at the hoverboard races. Yeah, dude. That's not wicked awesome. Um, no, but I got a comment uh, from my friend Jonathan on the last video, um, talking about why um, they use uh, bolts to make to to like use the bolts to make the robots like Clank. Then why, which doesn't make sense, because they buy stuff with bolts to to use the bolts to do other stuff. Which doesn't really make sense. And that made me thought, I mean, made me think that, why are they using bolts as currency? 
I mean, the the only thing is, I mean, it's kind of clever since the the main character's name is Ratchet, which is also a wrench. And you know, ha 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 ha. But uh, otherwise, it's just not really. Why? Also, a hole in logic. I like stuff like that, finding stuff. And conspiracy theories and theories in general. I am a very, very big fan of theories. Oh shit. Um, that was actually my favorite um, subject in school was uh, psychology, which was basically just. It was just theories. You got to learn all the theories like Pavlov and all the whole, the whole behaviorism uh, and all that. And uh, oh, what's his face? Uh, I can't remember his face now. Whatever. I didn't get good grades, okay? <laughs> um, no, but that was, it was real fun to learn about all about that because we did have to do a a big project was which. Uh, was like half our grades um, and we got to choose what subject we wanted to do and I choose behaviorism um, the history and what what guys <laughs> yeah what guys helped bring it further which was like it was Pavlov Watson and Skinner and I ended the whole thing by watching a clockwork orange which I had never watched before and uh, since then, this was like three months ago, I've watched it three times. <laughs> Guys, it's a good movie. If you haven't seen A Clock of Orange, it's pretty old. And uh, I mean, you you notice it's pretty old, but it's totally worth seeing. Especially if you like theories and uh, like to think about movies and about like motivations and all that. It's really interesting. And I very much recommend it. Um, so I did my. I, you did get to make your own questions, and my question questions was like, um, what what uh, inspirations did Kubrick and the I don't I don't remember the author of the book, but you know that dude uh, take from which of the three dudes who um, made the the theory uh, which one of those because they had different ways of expressing the theory uh, which one of those uh, they took inspiration from the most and uh, I don't remember what I answered but I remember that my I wrote it so like vividly or like so fuzzy that my teacher didn't even get why I what I was trying to say so I got worse grades not really worse grades but you know I still passed it but he he thought it was kind of lackluster anyways um, which kind of disappointing because it worked kind of hard on it but hard on it but I can see where it was coming from and we get a new thing a new gadget what's it called it's called the trespasser it's basically, I said it again, I've said it quite a few times, I've caught myself doing it all the time now, when I've been saying it on video. Um, yeah, it's basically like a key, a decoder of sorts. And can we please just jump down, because there is another golden bolt under the, under the dome. No, that's another, that's a Stephen King book. Um, under the platform. And now we just because that's why the thing was here because we can damn can we please game game thank you okay let's use the trespasser so it's yeah you have to use these colored lights in yeah those until they are all green and you can pass it ain't that bad dude it ain't that bad it's pretty fun actually but once again, the game doesn't pause, which I mean that that isn't quite that big of a deal because you often kill all the things before you uh, you do the trespassing, um, and so. 
But I think that will wrap up this episode. Okay, that was way too close for comfort. Don't do that, dude. Let's wrap up the third episode of Ratchet and Clank. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Ratchet and Clank. I really have to think of... I really have to do make up a whole outro because I'm just stumbling the whole... the whole... all the time. Like, damn it! Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Ratchet and Clank. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. God damn.